Assalamu alaikum children. Today we are going to do our uh, lesson number one of turn two. My Lord, bag of rice. Here we, this is a comprehension passage. We'll read the passage and answer the questions that follow. Hyde Sato was a brave warrior in ancient Japan. Brave, courageous warrior, fighter. One day, okay. one day when he sallied forth, he moved forward in search of adventure. He found that on the bridge spanning Lake Biva, spanning joining Lake Biva, a huge serpent dragon, a dragon which looked like a snake lay across his path. He was a man of great courage and stepped over the dragon's body and went forward dauntlessly without any fear, without any hesitation. Suddenly he heard someone calling him from behind. He was surprised to see that the dragon had entirely disappeared and a strange man with a dragon head crown was bowing ceremoniously to him, ceremoniously as if celebrating something, bowing, putting his head down in respect. Hatsato knew at once that this was no ordinary mortal, but the serpent dragon transformed thus. Now Hatsato was a brave person. He just walked over the dragon and then later on, when the dragon disappeared and instead a dragon head, a man with the dragon head appeared, Hatsatuk knew that this was not an ordinary uh, snake-like dragon, but someone special. The dragon king asked for Hatsatuk's help for killing a giant centipede. Now this dragon, this was the king of the dragons and he was wearing a crown and he talks to Hatsato and asks for his help. What, what kind of a help did he ask? He asked for a help for killing a giant centipede. What is a centipede? It's a kind of an insect. Now this insect had hundred legs. That's why we call it as centipede. And this centipede was the enemy of Dragon King. That had discovered his home in the lake. And the centipede had discovered where the King Dragon lived. It carried off members of his large family night after night to eat. What did the centipede do? Every night, one after the other, he would take away one family member of the Dragon King and eat it. As he was unable to save his family, he was looking for a brave human being to help him. Now, Dragon King was losing one member each night, so he wanted someone very, very courageous, very bold, very brave, and some human being strong enough to fight this centipede. Hatsato took pity on him and agreed to kill the centipede. As the centipede came nightly at a certain hour, now every night the centipede used to visit in the lake at a particular certain hour, at a particular time, the dragon king invited Hatsato to a lavish feast. Lavish? something very nice, very good, appetizing, with lots of dishes. Feast is a dinner. A lavish feast served by fishes in his magnificent crystal palace. Now this dragon king invited Hatsato. Suddenly Hatsato saw the centipede advancing towards his host who is a host who calls people for a party? 
So who throws a party is the host. Now, Hyatsatu saw the centipede coming and advancing, moving towards his host. Who was his host? The dragon king. The eyes of the centipede were great balls of fire. Its body was the color of burnished gold. Burnished gold, golden color, as if it was burnt. And the creature had a hundred legs. Hyatsatu shot two arrows at it. But they glanced off harmlessly. Glanced off, just brushed past him, did no harm to him. Hatsato remembered that the human saliva. What is a saliva? Ye jo aapke muh mein liquid form mein tongue ke upar hota hai, is tu ke ke taur par, that is known as saliva. So Hatsato just remembered that human saliva was deadly to centipedes. It was harmful for centipedes. So he applied saliva on the last arrow and shot the centipede. This time the arrow killed the centipede and it fell into the lake, turning the waters red. See, what is smart, he was not only courageous, he was intelligent too. So he made use of his knowledge and shot the centipede. All the inhabitants, who are inhabitants? People who live in a place are called the inhabitants of the place. So all the inhabitants of the lake came out joyously, happily, to celebrate, to enjoy, and felicitate, to thank Hyatsato as a token of gratitude, gratefulness, thankfulness. The Dragon King gave a sumptuous feat Sumptuous, delicious, mouth-watering dinner for Hyatsato, where he presented him with a bronze bell. Presented him with a bell, the color of the bell was bronze in color. Bronze is a kind of a metal, slightly orangish and uh, in color, which Hyatsato later presented to a temple. A bag with a never-ending supply of rice, a roll of silk which never finished though long pieces were cut off from it, and a cooking pot which cooked delicious food without putting it on fire. Hatsato's fame spread far and wide, far and wide all over the place. He became rich as he never had to spend on food, silk, or fuel. That was why he came to be called My Lord Bag of Rice.